This is Matt Walsh right over here on X. It says, the left has labeled Jeremy Johns a racist and a sellout simply for reviewing my film. This is how they play the game. Viciously denounce anyone who positively acknowledges the existence of the film so that other critics will too be afraid to follow suit. Now, uh, if you actually go over here, uh, there's a lot of people who are basically saying that Jeremy Johns is a, is a terrible person. He's a racist. I don't see that he's racist. I, I I never watched the video that I say, wow, this is racist. I never saw anything like that, right? And this is like the whole thing that we talked about with J.K. Rowling, right? J.K. Rowling is an like insane leftist, but she disagreed with one tiny point in these leftist uh, ideology and you know dogma. And now they're trying to get rid of her, they're trying to cancel her, try, trying to destroy her, and they're trying to, you know, potentially have her doxxed and unalive her, which is um very sad and very telling on the, the party of tolerance, right? Right over here, I says, Midlife Crisis, Jeremy Johns is not the villain origin story I was expecting, which is crazy. Here's another one right over here. Uh, it says, Jeremy Johns always sucked. Opinion. Uh, it's amazing people value his uh, his opinion at all. Uh, him being a racist and a centrist coward is not surprising in the slightest. Now, I've never met Jeremy Johns. Uh, I, I, but I watch a lot of his videos and a lot of his takes. And the thing is that I agree with a lot of his reviews. Now, uh, Suicide Squad. I believe Jeremy Johns gave it like Blu-ray. I would definitely buy it on Blu-ray. Yo, man, that was really bad. It was so bad that he, uh, Jeremy Johns had to make another, another follow-up review for that one, saying that it's actually not good, right? So yeah, these people are insane coming out of the woodworks. And of course, it's like a small percentage of the internet. Here's another one. Confirmed racist. Just for re doing his job, reviewing a movie, being a movie reviewer, Doing your job makes you racist, man. So you're saying that me being a rice farmer, that's racist. All right. You're saying that me working, you know, my skin to the bone, bleeding fingers in, in a sweatshop, I barely get out of once a year. That's racist. So based and Jeremy Johns being a movie critic and a reviewer, a racist. That's wild. That's wild. Right over here. Let's go ahead and bring up the Am I Racist right over, right over here. As of right now, zero critic review. At least, uh, they, at least it's grayed out. They don't want to review it. It's because if they review it, you are a racist yourself. So anybody who reviews it, that potentially gives it... Now, here's the thing. Jeremy John says, it's a good time, no alcohol required, right? That means that he gives it his... Um, his, uh, you know, his approval. Go watch it, you know? And the thing is that you, you go into it and it's more, it's more comedy than it is documentary, but it is a documentary nonetheless, right? And it, more than a thousand verified ratings right over here. Man, look at that. All, like, you got some people who don't like it. Trash journalism oversimplifies complex issue and draws all the wrong conclusions. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are trying to make this out to be a bad movie now here's the thing if it's bad i would tell you if it's boring i would tell you but this movie was actually pretty funny i last i laughed a lot of times in, in the movie and a lot of people in the movie clapped and laughed so now i do want to go right over here this is critics we got jesse gender bender probably this looks like a trans person i see uh and then you got neil wade jeremy johns right over here it made me laugh you know there it is my dad right over here alan ing from film threat gave it you know right here 8.5 out of 10. now the only critic review that's actually bad is this transgender person and i pulled up this person's video i hit click full review and it brought this up and in order for you to watch this terrible un quote unquote unbiased review of matt uh matt Walsh's film and documentary you have to subscribe guaranteed those are fake boobs Guarantee those th 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 those are fake because this is a man, baby. But yeah, uh, despite a better target than the bigoted, what is a woman? There it is. There it is. Extremely biased. Extreme, right? Extremely biased. An industry 
about profiting off white guilt, not fighting racism, it shares the same flaws. Manipulate, manipulative ed uh, editing, lazy jokes, no curiosity, uh, ending on a thoughtless finale with no call to action. The thing is that, imagine if there was a call to action. This transgender person, this transmission fluid right over here would probably said, Oh, there was a call to action at the end of the movie. He's just like Trump. Man, man. The thing is, like, I guarantee you people are going to try to, you know, dox Jeremy Johns. Right over here, there are people who are going into his past videos, right? Oh, look. That says it. He's a racist. Uh, if he was a racist, this video wouldn't be there. Right? It's because what do the left and actual racists feel? Oh, uh, I have to be an ally. I have to be an ally. I need to go ahead and erase this video. I need to apologize. Jeremy Johns. Don't apologize to these freaks. It's because if you once you apologize, it's over. It's over. Right? Of course, right over here, it says, uh, this is his blackface from Black Klansman Review, by the way. Sorry, Blade Review. Of course. And it's always the rainbow motherfuckers with the he, him pronouns in the bio. Yeah. Uh, I'm a comic book, game, movie, book, and TV enthusiast and like to sketch and read. He probably draws a lot of dicks. He probably draws a lot of dicks in his mouth. But yeah, man. Now let's go actually go to the video. I did watch his. I did watch his review. Seventy-seven thousand. I already liked it. And three point three thousand dislikes. Now here's the thing. Jeremy Johns does get his actual movie reviews. Uh, it's like a one to five percent uh, like to dislike ratio. Ratio, right? So you get. 1% to 5% dislikes, and then the rest of it is likes. Now, I guarantee you Jeremy Johns has gained a crap ton of more uh, fans and followers given what happened on on uh, social media, right? There's a lot of people who probably don't really know who Jeremy Johns is, right? The newer people, I'm talking about the newer people, right? People, the OG people who has been on the internet for quite some time, me, I've been on the internet probably since... Uh, Probably 30 years. Yeah, going on 30 years now. Been on the internet. And uh, I, I've, you know, Jeremy Johnson's probably been on internet probably around 14 years. 14, 15, 15 years now. And the thing is, I I, I don't agree with everything. But I would say like 95% of his, his reviews, I I do agree with it. Definitely do agree with it. Now, but the thing is, I get, like I said, he will hit 2 million subscribers tomorrow. This will be like, oh, uh, whatever. And here's the thing. This is one of his shorter reviews. As you can tell, look, it's it's under five minutes. His, his, usually, his reviews are about like six to eight minutes long, right? Some of them can get longer. Some of them are, you know, can go up to 12 minutes. But four or five minutes, under five minutes is actually relatively short for Jeremy Johns. But nevertheless, I'm glad Jeremy Johns came out and made this review. Fuck those crazy people online. Who gives a shit what they say? And the thing is, I love the movie. A lot of people like the movie. And if you don't like it, you don't have to watch it. It's up to you. It's your money, right? But the thing is, uh, this crazy person right over here, uh, Jesse Tra uh, Transgender Bender, right over here, in order for you to actually see her review, you have to pay to watch it. It is a paid walled review. Man. Man. Transformers 1 six minutes and 32 seconds that yeah, that is a long time ago right but his average reviews but this one is pretty short four minutes is pretty short but anyways continue doing what you're doing jeremy johns you're awesome i love all the stuff that you've been doing who cares about these crazy freaks i'm pretty sure he doesn't really care either